Hey everybody, it's Glider Cat, and it's time to play. We're back in Voxel Tycoon. I'm gonna unpause it. Let's see, where are we? Last episode, what did we do? We solved an issue with our passenger train, and there may be more. We'll just keep an eye on it. It's running. We'll let it go for quite a while. I'm not even gonna look at the profitability for a while because I don't want to know. But uh, we'll get back to optimizing that. But the bigger thing that we did is we got a second freight train running. Here it is, and it's delivering iron. I was disappointed to see that our only um, kind of cars here that we can put on here are these, uh, they only hold five units of iron. So that's not so great, but we got a big giant train. We've maxed out the size. We got the best engine that we can currently purchase. And we've got this guy dropping off iron bars into one of the larger warehouses that we just unlocked through technology not too long ago. So we got that going. And then we replaced, or we reworked the truck routes. Where is it? Uh, I can never find these guys. Looking for the iron bars. It is, I thought it was right here. Yeah. So here's our business. It's currently on average. That's what it was, I think, when we first started converting from the truck route going to the factory to just having the truck route go to the train station. I think it was on average. So yeah, we changed this truck route here. Ooh, we got one more car here that I wanted to send. One more truck that I wanted to send to the warehouse. We got rid of the older trucks, so we're trying to get rid of some of these older trucks. Get them off the road. You can go to the garage, garage four. Uh, we can delete these guys or sell them. Boom. Yep, we get a little bit of money. That's actually not too bad, more than I thought. You can go, whoops, did that, okay, right here, that's what I want, I keep clicking the wrong one, sorry about that, and the fourth truck should show up there real soon, we'll deal with that later, but yeah, so we changed that route over, we removed some, took some trucks off the road, these old ones, and just sold them, we got one more on its way. And then we noticed a couple things. One, we've got another business that needs iron bars down here. So we wanna convert that over. This one is uh, using the Haver Annex station and here's the route, the truck route. So instead of having this truck route go to all the way over to our factory, and it's not that far away to be honest, we wanna switch that over to, it's a ways, Switch it over to coming up here and grabbing the iron bars from up here. Hopefully we can get by by having having them pick up from the same depot and not run into too much problem. The same uh, freight station here. If that car is in the depot, let's... I don't think I can sell him from here, can I? Can we... can I sell him? No... I'm just kind of curious. Oh, I guess we can just uh, not take a ride, but go see where he's at and then sell him from here. All right, that was the fourth one. Boom. All right, that's all done. So yeah, let's do that. Let's, uh, let's see. Okay, he's unloading. Or no, that's the logs. That's the logs. Um, the other observation we had was that the peep, the uh, passenger train was kind of holding up our iron train at one point. So we may need to put more signals down. Oh, matter of fact, I know we need to put more signals down. And I think they need to be spaced apart, like is the length of the train. So for example, as this train's going to come up to this signal, I can get ready and place another one, just a regular block signal here behind it see he's waiting for something to go by but if i put up one here now a train that was following behind it could kind of come on all the way up and wait behind it now okay he waited probably unnecessarily for somebody to clear the pass i'm sure it's the passenger train where's that guy way over here so uh but he may have been in the way actually but basically, my point is we need to have more kind of blocks here to allow these guys to come through. So as soon as he passes that signal, 
Maybe we put another one here. Boom. And by spacing out some of these block signals, my understanding, and I'm not a pro at train signaling, if I haven't made that abundantly clear several, several times, is that they'll move to the next empty block and you distinguish the blocks by these signals here, right? So we can put one there. And then this is just gonna allow them not to have to look so far ahead to see if there's a train on the tracks. So it'll, if it doesn't make sense, it'll come clear. I put some links in previous videos to uh, a couple of YouTube videos that show, explain train signaling. And then also um, a little paper <laughs> a website that has a bunch of train intersections and stuff and explains how they work. So I don't have it memorized, but I'm getting there. All right, let's stop yapping and get to business. The other thing I want to do is pick research. Let's do that. I want to get back to, now that we have some trains in place, let's get a little more uh, or get back to being a little more aggressive with our, our research. And we may have to divert from plans and, and, and work on this, uh, work on providing resources to our research lab. All right. Stone processing. We've been through this a thousand times. We don't have the stone. We don't have the copper. We don't have the sand yet. Nothing, nothing. We do probably want to get the stone next. <laughs> I said at the end of the last episode, we unlocked that stone region ages ago and haven't used it. Ooh, steel bars. That may be something we want to start making. In fact, it may be the only thing we can do. Yeah, steel bars are needed for this research. And uh, they're needed for this research. So we may want to get, now we definitely want to get going on making steel bars in our factory. Matter of fact, we cannot, we can't do any more research until we make the steel bars. Tell you what, let's first do the iron stuff. Then we will break away from freight trains and we will uh, look at augmenting our factory to produce the steel. How's that sound? Sounds good, Glider Cat. All right. So I'm just looking at the factory here, making sure that this train's able to fill up. It is. It's slow. In fact, I think it would be able to, we'd be able to fill up another train as well. And we may have to. So what do we want to do first? Let's... Boy, yeah, that is empty. Why don't we duplicate the train? Now that could be a crazy thing. But let's do it. Let's see what happens. I mean, it's going to cost some cash, but we got 4 million. I think I can just, I'm at the depot. I can click the copy button. I think I can just pop right here. Boom. There's our train. I'm going to buy it. Boom. Oops. No, I guess they already, but we already bought it. We just got to set them loose. Boom. There he goes. Let's see. Should be leaving from here. Ooh, yeah. He's waiting. That's good. And again, we need to put those blocks in here. Now, there is a way uh, to do the signals a lot better than what I'm doing. And it is this multiple mode. So we could try it. We could try it. Um, Boy, I'm a little nervous to do it, to tell you the truth. And now we can put one right here. That's about a length of the train. And so now when this train clears this signal, I'm expecting our new freight train to be able to pull in behind them or at least start down the path. As long as there isn't somebody else coming. That's my prediction. Let's see if it happens. I'll get out of this menu and just, we'll just see. Here's the signal that this wood train needs to get by. And then will this guy start going? Yep. It just turned green for him. Now it's red because he's in that block. So that is kind of working the way I expected. Looks like I got the right product, yeah. So this guy's gonna come up and do a U-turn. Now I know these roundabouts aren't the most efficient uh, way to have an intersection because I think the entire, I could be wrong, I think the entire roundabout gets blocked if anybody's in it at all. I could be mistaken on that. Let's go to double speed, that's really slow. 
This guy should do a U-turn and go fetch some iron from the factory. We probably want to set these two full at this point. Now that we've got two, I don't want to send empty trains. Let's do that. Let's pause. We've got them both on screen here. Can I edit the route? Oh, they're on the same route. So I just got to edit one thing. Let's make these guys full and on both sides. So don't go fetch. Don't, don't leave the iron factory till you're full up with iron bars and don't leave where you're dropping them off until you've emptied them all. That's what I understand that to be. So I'll hit okay. And uh, then we'll unpause. I think that makes sense to do for our trains. Ooh, look at that. I was wrong. Two trains can be on the roundabout. The signals take care of that. Very cool. These are kind of well-timed by the way. I don't know if it'll stay that way. All right, now let's change over the route and we may need to add another warehouse over here because this one may end up filling up. We may need more space, but that's not a big deal. So the route that we are going to change is where it is a, down here. This one, right? Iron bars to Haver Annex. Let's just click on any truck, but the route and get rid of Haver Iron Bar S1. That's way over here at the factory. So we'll knock that guy out. Boom. And instead, we want these guys to pick up, hopefully, much closer right here. Then we're going to load, and we're going to do the same routine we always do. Do the refit. Set that to Iron Bars. And hit OK. We should be good now. This, we may get a backup over here, but we also may be able to take some trucks off the road. We may have too many trucks on these routes. Warehouse is still full, but it's gonna empty out. I'm tempted to put another one down right away. Let's wait and see. That's, if we need another warehouse, that'll be easy to diagnose because we'll see our train waiting here to unload. So that'll be a sign that we should get another uh, warehouse. Sorry for that scroll. I'm not sure what happened there. All right. There goes, hopefully, or here comes a train. Wait a minute. Let me pause. Yeah, that's empty. Good. For some reason, I thought I saw a three in here, but I don't. How is this warehouse holding up? We may need another one of these on this side, too. But we've got, it seems like we've got plenty of room. There are tons of warehouses, right? All right, this guy's lo loading up. We saw that this is a slow process, so we don't need to watch that. Now, well, that was quick. I think that's all I want to do. Let's, uh, let's start thinking about producing steel. How much iron do we have left over here? 133. Our lab's not doing anything. Let's take a look at what that process is. And factories, can we figure this out? Alloy smelter. And then a press. Let me look. I'm trying to remember how I can figure this out, what that recipe is. I'm going to leave it running at two times speed. We're 3.8 million just about. Uh, let's go in here. I'm going to pick starting research just so I can get in and see. Steel smelting. There may be a better way of doing this. Where do I get the recipe? Is this it? Okay. So for a steel bar, we need what? Coal. I think that's coal, right? Coal plus an iron bar gets you steel and we just smelt it and it's that easy. All right. So we, but we may want more iron bar production. It takes two iron bars. Okay. Two iron bars and a coal. So that means we need to get coal out this way. We could use this train station if we want and put the factory right here bring coal in on a, with a, maybe a smaller train. Do we have coal? We have coal coming in by truck. Matter of fact, there's a truck right there. Wants to drop it off, but we're not using it. And so that is an inefficient truck route. Now, some of you guys will say, Hey, set it up. So they just sit and wait to unload. And in this case, it might not be a bad idea because we've got plenty of road. We're not going to, we're not going to gridlock. Why don't we try it for fun? Let's take this route. I'll show you what I'm talking about. There's only four trucks. On the 
unload portion here. Let's say full. So I'm guessing that means this guy's not, these trucks aren't going to leave until they empty out. That may actually save us some cash. Uh, might not make a difference once we start producing the steel and really start consuming a lot of coal. But for now, we'll give it a shot. Did I save that? I think I did. Refit coal, unload full. Yeah, that's all saved. Go ahead and hit play again. We'll stay at two times speed. So what do we got? We got plates and we want to do steel mainly for our research needs. Here's our warehouse with coal, just so we can start researching it. And we got other products we could ship by train and meet the needs of businesses. But we're thinking about doing iron bars right now or steel bars just so we can get the research going again. Okay, I don't care about that. I should look at our notifications, but. I think I'm not going to do that this episode. These guys are all doing their thing. We got more iron bars over here, but they're being turned into plates. Here is our iron. Or let's see if we've got these belts are doing pretty good. Should we just hmm, and there's coal. Hmm. Well, 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 we could extend this coal out that we've already got. It seems like it's keeping up and this is not a good scalable solution though. I was going to say we could extend this out for now and then take this iron ore, convert it into ingots. Does that take coal too? I can't remember the recipe for iron ingots. Uh, let's see. Yeah, it looks like it is right. Coal. Coal and iron ore coming in, ingots coming out. The ingots line is kind of compressed too. I guess we could use that. See how we're pounding out plates? Hmm. Yeah, I'm just trying to think how we might want to scale this. I hate having two different products pull off of the same raw resource lines. That's what I'm thinking now. Because if we want to scale really big, then things get kind of complicated to do that. The other thing I'm thinking is this iron mine is not going to last forever. So maybe this doesn't have to be a permanent kind of forever and ever kind of solution. The other thing I'm thinking is I think eventually we're going to want to truck in the coal. I'm not truck in the coal, but we're going to bring that in on train because we're using trucks now, but eventually this guy's going to disappear and we're going to have to try, we're going to have to uh, bring in coal over to our iron factory from train. We're not going to be doing it from truck. I don't know where the next coal resource is. I'm sure we've seen it in a previous episode, which, which of these guys has coal. It's not those two. We don't need to get distracted with that right now, but eventually we're gonna have to come in with train on that. So let's think about this. We may, we don't, we're kind of right up next to this region here. Wait, oh, and that one's got coal. <laughs> that's pretty convenient. Yeah, that's super convenient. That is super convenient. Can we see it? Oh, there it is. That's not bad. We might actually go with trucks to get that coal. That's not that far. All right, all right, all right. All right, we got to come over this way. But that's still not bad. Let's think for a minute. We need an... All we need is a coal line. And we need a... Iron ore line. Iron ore is obviously going to come from here. Somehow. We've even got... We've even got an old connector here that we haven't used. Wouldn't mind coming this way. This, this is a little goofy, <clears throat> what we're doing here. And by using the trains, we know eventually this whole route is going to go away. So this is going to be replaced with a belt going up to a warehouse, feeding the 
iron parts to a train and the train's going to take them where they're needed. So eventually this is going to go away. This road, probably this freight station and this warehouse will get moved. So if we wanted to kind of build a production line through here, we could do it Just along this stretch here. I may level this land even. We're at 4.2 million. Yeah, sorry, a lot of brainstorming in this episode. I apologize for that. Uh, if we did that, we could put a warehouse here to drop off coal to this station and pick it up. Or, yeah, that's not a bad station for it. The other option is we eventually may have a big freight station over here to serve Newport Beach. Or is it down here, maybe? Well, eventually we're just going to have to take some action here and quit dawdling. Hmm. Got iron ore going down this way. This is all being trucked to destinations. I hate to kind of do that. I'd almost like to starve out the businesses that need the, uh, just the iron ore. I feel like that's probably a low profit. How do we want to do this? That's parts. We are actually, yeah, see how, I was going to say, see how for iron parts, we've kind of got its own supply of iron bars. We're not borrowing from like the iron bars, the plates are being, are using. That's got its own line. I think we want our own line as well. I'm just trying to think of how to route the iron ore out of here. We could pull like, I'm, yeah, this is going to be a little crazy. How can we do it? Oh, that's yeah. That's a mine too, but we've got a bunch of mines. All right, let's start. I'm going to start flattening this train. We're going to come through here. Is what we're going to do. If we have to go underneath, we'll go underneath for now. I'm going to take out a little more of this. I know it's kind of a waste of money, but it looks goofy if I don't take it out. Boom, boom, boom. And what I want to do is have a belt of the iron ore. Come out this way. I'm debating coal. Can I get coal to a freight station? Yeah, right here. We could easily have a train drop off this coal. All I got to do is pop a warehouse down near one of these on this side. And then we could use this new train station we haven't used yet to collect coal. And take it all the way over here to this guy. We've got six lanes. And then maybe a warehouse here. And then I can belt the coal down. And we'll have our coal belt and our iron ore belt right nearby. And then we can make the iron bars with the coal and the ore. Right? Coal, ore, iron bars. And then we take the iron bars with the coal and we make our steel bars. I'm thinking of doing that right up here. And I'm thinking of combining this line. I'll show you what I'm thinking here. I'll just do it. This connector here, just to get us extra, may be goofy, but I'm going to do it. Just in case one of these warehouses uh, or one of these mines starts draining for some reason. At least we've got... Two sets of ore coming into this one belt. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. I want coal. Let's get a warehouse going. Boom. Somewhere nearby. It doesn't have to be right on top of that train station, but anywhere where it's valid and where I can still come underground underneath this road temporarily. Should we flatten that terrain? 
We got the cash to do it. Uh, we could flatten that terrain. Yeah, I'm going to do it. Let's do it. Kind of don't want to do this for the transit, but for putting the buildings down, it makes it a little easier to have it level. This one I'm not going to level yet. We're going to tunnel under it, and eventually this road's going to go away, and then maybe I'll level it then. All right, warehouse. Boom, the big one. We're always going to go big, probably on warehouses. I need room for a connector and a belt to come under this road. So we're going to do that. And then we're going to go ahead and do a connector. Boom. Anywhere is fine. There. Belt. Tunnel. Boom, boom. 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 How about I'm going to leave it back a little ways. And I guess we could start the production right here and just move this stuff later if it gets in the way. So the first thing we want is iron bars. So we need a smelter. And I'm just looking at how this works again. Someone said I can go configure these any way I want. Let's try it. Let's get a smelter down. Factory. We'll at least get this started. We're probably not going to get it done this episode. Alloy smelter. How about... How about like this? We'll start this orientation. We'll just see how it goes. We'll probably get pretty close to here. Boom. And then our iron is going to come off of that. So let's try it. And it's been a while since I've played. So we'll see if this works the way I think it's going to work. Okay. Yep. And then coal. We got to change the direction on this belt. Boom. And then we can wait for the save. <laughs> Okay, and then we'll set this. Let me escape out of the conveyor build menu. Come in here. Make sure we set that warehouse to coal. This isn't going to work till we get the train going, but I think we should do it. I think we should do it. And then I want my conveyor. This one kind of doing this routine, right? And then, but still going straight. Right? So then this guy comes in like that. But here comes the coal, boom, into our first smelter. This guy's going to make the iron bars. All right. Let's change the direction on this one. And we don't have coal. That's why it's not working. Um, and then we'll chain these together. Now, our output has to come out and snake around. So how do we want to do that? We could, hmm, just trying to think of how we can do this in a scalable fashion. We're going to come under one way or another. This guy's either going to come out, these are the iron bars, you're going to come out and come under and under and through this way. And then there'll eventually be an input. Or... They're going to come up on the other side. If we do them on the other side, things get a little better. Uh, so let's try that. You want this guy. Let me try it. We'll just get one of these setups going maybe this episode. If we can. We're running out of time. Tunnel you to you and up. And then come out right there for now. And then we need two iron bars per. We'll see. This is not going to be super duper duper optimal, but I think it's going to work. Let's grab another factory. One of these guys. This time. How do we want to do it? How do we 
want to do it. Let me just pop another one here. This is going to be the next iteration of this one. Just bear with me here. Let's see what I'm thinking. I kind of want to visualize this. Okay, we'll right click to get off of that and change the direction there. That's the next one with coal. And then the iron's going to feed in just like we did the first one. So maybe here, like that is fine. Right? Out comes the product. And what I'm just trying to think of now is the coal. I could branch. Let me just show you because it's harder for me to explain it. This guy. How do I want to orient this? Maybe like this. Yeah, maybe like this. Let's try it. So in come the iron bars. Boom. And then we can run another coal belt off of this thing. It's going to be a little goofy. We, it may make sense to run another one right out of the factory. Why don't we do that? Connector. I guess it could be right next to it. We'll find out if that's a problem. Belt. Tunnel. Boom. Boom. Up. Kind of same thing that we were doing before, except this guy is going to come through this way. Right? Just like that. How's that look? So let's change the direction of these belts to be correct. So another belt of coal comes off. And feeds this guy. And this guy is doing the steel bars. So it's going to bring in the coal. It's got the iron bars coming in. Out come the steel bars, right? And now there's an issue. Now we got an issue. The issue is we need to get these steel bars to the research lab or somewhere near the research lab. What we'll probably do in the near term is drop a warehouse over here and leverage this freight station. Now, it's pretty horrible because the, the truck route is just enormous. So we may want to think about doing some burrowing and it could just be from this first output. It doesn't have to be way at the end. We don't have to snake a belt around. It could, we could just rely on a single smelter or something. It would take a little bit longer, but we could run a belt of just those steel bars into a warehouse right next to the laboratory. And then eventually just rip that belt out when we're done with it. Or we could snake it around. And then eventually we will eventually route those steel bars up into a warehouse near the train station for those to get picked up and, and dropped off to the city. Anyway, those are all plans for a future episode. Right now we need to wrap this one up. Uh, we could take a quick look at our warehouse here. So we're still out of iron, so we're not going to, we're not able to do it. We either need another train or we need to speed up our trains. We've got two trains doing iron bars and they're not able to keep up with the demand because we've got two places that need it. Let's see how bad it is before we end the episode. Here is our first business with iron bars. That's now down to bad, right? So that's not good. I don't think it's the trucks. I think it's our warehouse is not getting enough supply right here. So we may need to add a third train which man, I don't know how much these trains cost. Hopefully it's not going to end up being a whole bunch more expensive than the trucks. The, uh, our passenger train has not saved us money. Although it's, this is climbing a tiny bit. Shows our incomes right around 39,000. This I thought was at 66 before we converted from buses to the uh, passenger train. Now, admittedly, it's not the most efficient train setup by a long shot. I probably should have gone with longer. Like they're full, but these stations are tiny. I probably should have gone with longer stations. 
And I don't think I can throw another train on this line very efficiently because it's, uh, <laughs> we've got it to like one way. So they have to come down and then back out. Now, eventually we can loop it. If we loop it, yeah, if we loop it, then I don't need to have one way. I don't need to have a two way track and that would be easier to put more passenger trains on the tracks. Anyway, I'm getting distracted. Let's wrap this one up. Next episode, we're going to finish. Sorry for scrolling around like a nut. Uh, next episode, we're going to try and finish our steel part factory. We're just getting it going. We have kind of the first little blueprint here. Or the first initial setup. We'll get that going. Figure out where we're going to route the uh, steel bars that come out of here. And then we need to set the very next thing we need to do is get coal coming in by train. So that we've already got a warehouse placed. But we need a train to come here and deliver coal for us. I didn't realize too, the loading speed being so slow is going to impact how many trains we can have uh, in the station at any one time. But we will cross that bridge when we get there for now. This is GliderCat saying thanks so much for watching. Appreciate having you here. And I will see you in the next episode.